You mean for the concert? What brought that on? You got so serious there, I was getting kind of scared. Damn, man. Is making people feel awkward a hobby of yours or something? Aw, oh, it's no big deal. Besides, it was a real team effort. Everyone played a part. I mean, look at you. You were a fountain of good advice through this whole thing. And honestly, I should be the one thanking everyone. You all helped me rediscover just how much music means to me. Because it's not just about performing by myself. It's about performing together, playing off each other's strengths to make something wonderful. So I should be the one thanking you. This never would have happened if I didn't come to this academy. Holy hell, are you guys trying to see who can make me cringe the hardest? <sighs> Does he always have to say that stuff so loudly? Sorry, I'll see you later, okay? Yeah. Generally, people stay in the same class from their first day to their graduation, but... Class 7's basically one giant exception to everything the school's ever done, so... Who knows? If I manage to graduate, at least. Barring any nasty surprises, I'll be in class seven till the end of the month. Which means our time as classmates is almost up. <laughs> Come on, it's no big deal. Trust me, you're still gonna see more than enough of me next year. Sure, I'll have moved out of the dorms, but I'll be sure to stop by once a week to steal some of Sharon's cooking.
<laughs> of course not. And if I ever catch you calling me Mr. Armbrust again, I'm gonna smack you. Oh, yeah. Guess it's about time I gave you this back. Feelings mutual. Besides, I never return the mirror that I borrow. Makes that coin extra special. So go on, take it. What kind of racket are you running here anyway? I thought you were supposed to be a good kid. Where the things I do for love. All right, all right, you'll get your stupid interest someday. Maybe. Alfin, I am drawn to the party before us like a moth to a flame, like a starving man to a banquet, like beauty to me. What say you we grace the dancers with the gift of our company? <laughs> it's as though you read my mind. Come now, don't waste your time watching. It's time to dance. <laughs> no need to worry about formalities tonight. Let's all relax, enjoy ourselves, and maybe let a few secrets slip. Allow me, Sharon. Before every red-blooded boy in this school lines up for a chance. <laughs> it would be my honor. Madam Chairman, might I have this dance? <laughs> of course. Given that our former partners left the dance all too soon, we seem to make for an appropriate pair. I suppose you're right. Instructor, I cannot thank you enough for all you've done for my daughter. I can, however, ask you for the pleasure of this dance. Really? Ooh, he's just my type, too. talking to myself. Well, 
I'll be dancing with all my little kittens by the end of the night. But I suppose I can let you take the first dance. Well, I don't mind. But seeing you in that dress is enough to make any guy feel intimidated. They waste no time, do they? It's no surprise that my grandfather made a beeline for Sharon, but I never expected to see Mother dancing. <laughs> in some ways, it seems as though they're younger than we are. You've given me more than enough of your time already today. Between showing me around and your incredible concert, you must be exhausted. And besides, I'm sure there's someone else you'd rather dance with here. Why not us them instead? I knew it! So, I have a potential sister-in-law now, do I? Really? Besides, if you spend all this time worrying about me, the music will be over by the time you ask. Such an idiot. Ah, oh, Elise. Your Highness? The generally accepted strategy here would be to keep his eyes on you, not push him toward another girl's tender embrace. If you were to only gather the courage to ask him, I'm certain that he would be more than accommodating. It's fine. I'm fine, honestly.
Thanks, Rain. It must have been no small feat for you to lead, given how... small I am. Yeah, it is. It was a lot of hard work, but I loved every minute of it. Your concert even topped the one we put on last year. that this is my last Academy Festival got me all emotional. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be setting an example for you and yet here I am. How embarrassing. shorter than you, but I am a second year. I don't think it's really appropriate for you to start stroking my head out of nowhere like that. since I was a kid. It was kind of nice, to be honest. <laughs> you can tell that you're an older brother. There's not a lot of time left until I graduate. But with you here, I'm sure the Academy is going to be in good hands once I'm gone. Reen? Elise? Claire? <laughs> well, it's not as though I performed on stage in front of an auditorium full of people or anything. I really enjoyed your concert, by the way. That's the kind of thing that makes me proud to be an alumni.
Students and visitors, I cannot thank you enough for your attendance today. I hereby proclaim the 127th Thor's Military Academy Festival complete. But I am afraid I must announce this with a heavy heart, as we have just received word from the Imperial Government that this evening, Garelia Fortress, which rests on the eastern border of the Empire, has been destroyed. No, destruction is an inadequate word. An unknown weapon has erased the fortress in its entirety from existence. I would ask that all of our guests, from that region or otherwise, please try to remain calm. 